Only eating video game foods for a full day? For breakfast, I've always wanted to try omu rice and its cookies specialty from Genshin Impact. There's only one place in Orlando I could find it on the menu, but it was worth the drive. The soft, rich eggs with a savory, salty fried rice, and then it's got this thick, sweet, salty sauce on top. Incredible. And then in Genshin Impact, there's a bunch of different dim sum recipes, and shrimp dumplings are called crystal shrimp, and the soft, chewy wrapping is seriously so satisfying to eat. And Sing Chio's specialty are these pretty, like, bag-shaped dumplings. These Shanghai dumplings for the closest thing I could find, but they were so juicy and delicious with that warm, spicy chili oil. And finally, for dinner, I ordered some butter chicken, and Genshin Impact is eaten with either rice or flatbread, so I got some naan, and it's so soft and fluffy with a perfect char that goes so well with the creamy, buttery sauce. And honestly, there's so many other delicious Genshin recipes in the game, so you can check those out, and that's all for today. Letting my For You page decide what I eat for a full day. I'm not even lying. The first thing I saw this morning was pizza fries. So to Target we go and I found some extra crispy fries and I literally used a pound of cheese. Also, don't forget to pay the cheese tax and like a whole pack of pepperoni. And then you got to air fry the fries so they get extra crispy. I baked it till it started to bubble and it didn't quite come off in a satisfying sheet like the video, but this smelled so good. We used a garlic pizza sauce for some extra flavor and it was just so cheesy and crispy, crunchy and so meaty too. Too. Really easy and fun, like definitely recommend for a movie night snack. And while we were at Target, I scrolled some more and I found Matt Peterson eating soup dumplings. And they sell Target brand soup dumplings now. You just pop them in the microwave and look, the wrapping was way too thick, but they actually did have some yummy salty soup inside and chili oil covers a world of hurt. And then I avoided my For You page till dinner, but the first thing I saw was the savory puff pastry recipe and I don't love onions, so I wasn't like super thrilled. Also, I bought the wrong balsamic, so I had to wait 20 minutes for it to thicken. Anyway, you add honey and thyme and then you put your onion down and the puff pastry with some egg wash and then I baked it for like 15 minutes and look at these beautiful golden brown pillows of butter the sweet tangy balsamic and the honey kind of like caramelizes the onion and makes it so soft and sugary this was way better than I was expecting also why don't I eat more puff pastry it's so freaking delicious anyway that's all for today eating like I did in high school for a full day. My school was so small, we didn't even have a cafeteria, but you could sneak off to the Chinese restaurant next door during lunch. And I know it's basic, but I always got the sweet and sour chicken with that bright red sweet and sour sauce that's basically pure sugar. And there's something about that piping hot, crunchy, puffy chicken that just hits the spot. Of course, you gotta drench your fried rice in it so it's like sugar rice. And the little pieces of pork are always my favorite part. And it always comes with an egg roll too. So you gotta drizzle it in duck sauce, which is kind of like a fruitier sweet and sour. And it's so crunchy crunchy and so meaty. And since we didn't have a cafeteria at my school, they would order a bunch of Papa John's and you could pay like a dollar or two for a slice. The only options were pepperoni or cheese. And honestly, I'm a Domino's girl at heart. I feel like Papa John's crust is a little too bready for me personally, but if you got lucky, they'd give you the garlic sauce and that's a game changer. I mean, it's basically just butter, but it's fantastic. But if you were a real rebel, you'd sneak across the street to the 7-Eleven for lunch. Well, it used to be a 7-Eleven. And we'd always pick out a new candy to try and you got to mix and match your slushy flavors. Today, I tried Coke and Jamaican raspberry hibiscus, which was so sweet. Maybe not the all-time best combo, but it was nice and fluffy and fizzy. I also tried the Speedway spicy chicken sandwich, which was cheesy. The chicken was super dry, but it did have a little spice, like some flavor. And if you've never tried cookie dough Twix, you have to. Like the soft, sugary cookie dough goes so well with the crunchy Twix and the gooey caramel. And that's all for today everything I ate my first time at Church's Chicken. I don't know how I've never been here before. They have fried okra and the chicken gives like Jolly Bee vibes, like so crispy. And honestly, the gravy is kind of better than Jolly Bee's. It's so peppery and flavorful and thick. And they also have these sliced jalapenos that you squeeze onto the chicken for a little spice and kind of like a tangy pop. And then I got the spicy chicken sandwich, which just has spicy mayo. So it's not super hot, but the filet is so juicy and the bun is brushed with honey butter. So it's got this like sweetness that goes so well with the salty, savory chicken. And the mashed potatoes weren't my favorite by themselves, but then I added the chicken skin for some crunch and that's a game changer. The chicken skin is like so rich and fatty in the best way. And the fried okra was pretty good by itself, kind of earthy, but it was so good with a creamy jalapeno sauce. And just look at how shiny this biscuit was. It was so soft and buttery and warm, like everything a biscuit should be. But with the gravy, it was out of this world. Like I need to drink the gravy. It's so good. I also tried the apple pie, which was super cinnamony. It could have had a little more filling, but the icing kind of gives like pop tart vibes which i'm obsessed so sugary sweet and finally the iced biscuit which was also incredible i mean it's buttery and sugary like a cinnamon roll biscuit and that's all for today
Letting my three-year-old niece decide what I eat for a full day. This is my baby niece, Olivia. She's literally the cutest thing in the entire world. And today we went to an Italian restaurant. We asked her to point somewhere on the menu and she kept pointing to two different things. So whatever, I had to order two different things, I guess. She kept pointing at the shrimp scampi and it was actually so good, like really garlicky and buttery. The shrimps were huge and the pasta was like perfectly al dente. She kept pointing at the chicken marsala too. So I made Chris get that one and it had so many soft, juicy mushrooms. And then I love angel hair pasta. It's so thin and like slurp. And then later, Chris's mom made baked ziti because Olivia loves it. And I was showing her how to take the big bites. She is just so cute. She was watching me film because sometimes she watches my videos and I took like extra big bites because she was giggling so much. I wish you could hear her. And then she wanted me to eat more because she just kept laughing. So I ate the bread and I made funny faces the whole time. Like I'm obsessed with her, just like making her laugh. I don't know. Anyway, then later we got her some gifts for her birthday and they ordered pizza. And then she picked out the meatball one for me to try because she has impeccable taste. And I love when the crust is like crispy and charred and the meatballs are juicy and kind of bouncy and the sauce is perfectly sweet and that's all for today only eating puff pastry for a full day i became obsessed with puff pastry after yesterday's video i found so many recipes on tiktok and for breakfast i made this like kinder chocolate croissant that you drizzle with nutella which i totally nailed like restaurant quality right here anyway i think i was supposed to use the ones without the crunchy wafer part because it was like crunch on crunch but the nutty rich hazelnuts with the buttery puff pastry and they were so warm and melty too. And for lunch, I wanted to find a recipe with brie because it's my favorite cheese. This one called for hot honey, which I didn't have. So I just made some. It's like super easy. And then you add some apples and then the brie and don't forget to pay the cheese tax to yourself. Then more hot honey than the puff pastry with some egg wash. Why do they kind of look like ravioli? But then they puffed up and the cheese gets all crispy and the honey kind of like caramelizes the apples. So they're so soft and sweet and of course buttery. And the hot honey adds the perfect kick. It's actually so delicious. And of course, my favorite part was the melty goo brie. It's so good. And finally, I made this raspberry streusel bar recipe. I freaking love streusel. It's so easy to make too. And my whole apartment literally smells like a buttery heaven. And then you add some lemon glaze. Look at how beautiful. Also, I use a pizza cutter for everything. It's the best. And oh my gosh, the bottom was so flaky and crispy. And the layer of streusel is like soft and buttery and warm, but also crunchy on top. And the raspberry jam and the lemon glaze kind of add some tartness, which really cuts the sweetness so well. It was actually kind of perfect. And that's all for today. My dad cooks all my meals for a full day. First, he wanted to show you all his new chef's jacket. He said now he looks like he knows what he's talking about. Anyway, growing up, my dad was a stay-at-home dad and he was like always trying out new recipes. So today he decided to make coca vent because we had it at that dude ranch that we went to in Colorado and he can't stop talking about how moist the chicken was. So it's basically braised chicken in wine and then he added a bunch of veggies and aromatics and some cream and flour to thicken it up a little bit and it seriously made the whole house smell heavenly. He also pulled out the fancy plates today and the chicken was super moist. He said it didn't quite fall off the bone like it did at the ranch, but the veggies and the bacon were like so flavorful and juicy and it was all just so savory. Anyway, and then for dinner, he loves making homemade pizza. He always makes a whole pizza for everyone, like with your own favorite ingredients. Even if you're not that hungry, you can just take home the leftovers. So I asked for a pesto chicken pizza and he always makes the pesto from scratch. It's so garlicky. It's like my favorite thing ever. And then he makes these balsamic grilled veggies that are also so freaking good. And you gotta smother it with cheese. Anyway, thanks, Dad, and that's all for today. Only eating my favorite meals from college for a full day. I went to UCF in Orlando and I literally lived right above a Blaze pizza. I ate here like three times a week. It's unlimited topping, so you gotta get like three cheeses. I always get bacon, spicy chorizo, Italian sausage, and meatballs. And you gotta get the pesto and ranch drizzle. And it's also the perfect size because you can eat the whole thing and not feel too full because it's super thin and charred perfectly. And then for dinner, we went to this Italian restaurant that was Chris and I's date night spot. And the garlic bread is so buttery. It has this like crispy crust but it's also so fluffy and soft. And you always gotta ask for extra house dressing to dip it in. It adds this like tang and like hint of sweetness. And now for my all-time favorite college meal, the tortellini carbonara. Yes, you heard me right. I mean, it's like the most Americanized Italian food ever. It's literally bacon and egg in a Parmesan cheese sauce with these delicious little meat and cheese filled tortellinis. And I also get it with chicken that has this perfect char and it's this creamy, buttery, meaty perfection. And finally, I had to order some insomnia cookies. They deliver to like 1 a.m 
jam or something. It's the perfect late night study snack. This is one of my all time favorite cookies. It has peanut butter cups that almost get like crispy, but they're also still so melty and the center is gooey. And Chris loves this oatmeal chocolate walnut one, which is huge. And it's got these crunchy walnuts and milk chocolate. It's a little cinnamony for me, but it's like the perfect cookie texture. And they have this new blueberry cheesecake one with this like sweet, smooth cream cheese filling and the crust is a little crispy, so sugary. And that's all for today. Today I went to Volcano Bay and I ate at every single restaurant. First up was this spot by the entrance where I got the mango and barbecue pulled pork sandwich that was massive. It had a caramelized pineapple and mango slaw, which added this great crunch. It's definitely a lot of food and there's so many flavors and textures and it came with fries that were the best theme park fries I've ever had. They tasted exactly like McDonald's fries, like super crispy and salty. And then I stopped at the ice cream stand for this soft serve fusion. So it's a combination of banana, blue raspberry, orange, and strawberry ice cream and it's so fruity and creamy and refreshing, like really tangy. I wanted to. This next spot was called Bamboo, I think. And they have this chocolate pineapple upside down cake, which has this like buttery shredded coconut mixture. And then the cake itself was actually so moist and warm and the pineapple was juicy. And after that, I went to the pizza spot where they have this Hawaiian pizza with pickled jalapenos. That was huge. Like I had to fold it up just to get a good bite. The sauce actually had a lot of flavor and you know, I love my spicy food. It was super cheesy too. And then one of the pavilions also sells sushi. So I got the platter that had the California roll and the vegetable roll and they were super fresh. And also we were staying in a cabana where they leave you all of these snacks, like this whole fruit platter with pastries and a giant cookie that was literally so delicious. And that's all for today. Today, I decided to walk through Disney Springs and stop at every single food cart. I was literally hit with three different food trucks, like right at the entrance, but they had these mac and cheese fritters that were so crispy. They were filled with this gooey, melty mac and cheese. They were also so salty, like maybe they needed some ranch or something creamy to dip in. And I didn't know Four Rivers had a Mexican food truck. They're like a super popular barbecue place in Orlando, but they have Vidia tacos here and they really did have like a smoky, sweet kind of barbecue flavor. And the savory jus with the crispy, crunchy shell, it's so good. And then at the third food truck, I got elote that was smothered in mayo and cotija cheese. I wasn't expecting it to be so sweet, but it was also really juicy and like tangy, like really citrusy. And our next stop was a churro stand, but they had so many different flavors. We got this Oreo one that was covered in sugary vanilla icing and Oreo crumbles. And it was crunchy on the outside, but then like really light and soft inside. Honestly, the perfect churro. And finally, we got away from all the food carts. We did some shopping. And then on our way out, we came across this like hot dog place, but they had bulgogi sausage. So it was actually a pork hot dog with marinated beef inside of the hot dog. So much meat, but really flavorful. And the bun was so buttery and the pickled veggies were crunchy. And that's all for today.